Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stairs. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. You got to take the stairs. And you're the brightest group of young people that have come along in a long time, man. Millennials are absolutely brilliant because you all have technology. Y'all got Google. You can Google anything. You all have stuff at your fingertips that can make you great. But if you can combine your technology with your parents and your grandparents' work ethic, your could be rich. You could be rich, man. But you cannot erase the work ethic part. There is no getting around. Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stands. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. You got to take the stands. Y'all got to start getting gritty, man. I hate it when I see young people wasting their time, wasting all this technology got. Just bull Just sitting around in this world that's been created for you that everything is instant. It's amazing, man how you rely on technology, and it's a help to you. But young people, you gotta get gritty, man. You gotta develop some dog in you. You gotta understand that success, you can't Google success. Go Google it. You can't Google it, man. I got something else for you. Because I've lived so long, and I've been exposed to so many things. I've seen stuff hopefully you'll never see. And I've seen some things I hope one day you do see. But go Google exposure. It ain't gonna take you nowhere. I've been around the world, man, because I've traveled it. But I traveled it because I've, I've made myself uncomfortable. I have a life of convenience now. But in order to get the life of convenience, you gotta have a very uncomfortable life. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Stop trying to do everything the short way. Stop trying to figure out the easy way because the ain't gonna happen. I got news for you, man. It's not happening, young people. You got to get, you got to get messed up sometimes. You got to get dirty. You got to get your feelings hurt. You got to get disappointed. You got to get told no. You gonna ask somebody for some money. He gonna tell you no. But at least then, when I see somebody trying and I tell them no, I try to at least give them something else. You know the story of Marie Callender's? Do you know what this woman did, man? She worked for a diner, a greasy spoon diner that was going out of business. It was her only job. She was a single mother. It was her only job. She needed that job, but the diner was going to close. So she went to the owner of the diner and said, let me bake one of my pies, people like my pies, and see if I can help you make a little money. He said, whatever, bring it in. He, she bought one pie in. They sold every slice. The next day, the people came in and asked for the pie. She had to go home and make another pie. The next day, so many people asked for the pie, she had to make four pies. Then people started saying, can I buy my own pie? She made so many pies at this store that she eventually saved her money and put a commercial oven in her house. Now all, she done made so many pies, the dude's shop, he ain't selling hamburgers no more. All he's selling is them damn pies. That's how Marie Callender got started. Marie Callender now has over 120 restaurants. You can't go to no frozen food section without seeing Marie Callender in there. You know what she started with? A pie. One pie. 